You've been in a car accident. You caused the car accident or part of someone that caused damage to another car in a car accident and you've been sued. So what do you do if you've been served with a statement of claim? Typically, you will know if you got served with a statement of claim because someone will hand it to you and tell you that you've been served. There may be situations where you're hard to reach and they have to get a substitutional service order. We've even seen people served by Facebook or by family members. Do not ignore that service. It's very, very time sensitive. And if you do not respond to the service in the time that you have, then you could be noted in default, which basically means you've lost your whole court case before you even know. So what do you do if you've been served with a statement and claim? Well, number one, if you have insurance, you're gonna call your insurance provider and hand it to them. Most people have liability coverage in terms of their vehicle. And the insurance company's gonna take it from there and you don't have to worry about it, but do not delay. Uh, you know, at the minimum time is 20 days to respond. Sometimes you might have more, but you gotta do it from the day that you were personally served. So it's gonna be really important. If you don't have insurance, well, now you've got a bigger problem on your hand because one, not only is it against the law to drive a car without insurance, however, you're now having to hire your own lawyer in order to represent you to keep you from having more negative consequences than the accident itself. Lawyers can do any number of things in terms of defense. If you are guilty, you rear-ended someone and there was really no justification, they weren't backing up on the freeway to cause an accident, then they're gonna argue whether the amount that you owe, there might be some argument of liability, there might be arguments for contributing negligence, where the person who you hit wasn't wearing their seatbelt and got more injured than if they'd done what they're supposed to do. The key though is the timing. Remember, you do not want to delay. This is one of those situations that putting your head in the sound, sand does not help you. It only makes things worse. And as scary as it may be, especially if you have insurance, your insurance company is paid. That's why you have insurance, to make sure that you're okay. Now, if someone's been served with a statement of claim after a car accident, they often ask us, do I have to go to court? Well, maybe. But court's not the end of the world. It's not, it's that your lawyer will help you or the insurance company lawyer will help you understand the process, what to expect, um, help you understand the types of questions and how they'll be asked. They'll probably also help you because there's things like questionings that happen first and they'll guide you and step you through that. Most uh, statements and claims, most of the time when people are sued, they end up settling. And that is true for car accidents also, which means that the insurance company or somebody says, I want this, and you say, well, we don't want to do that, and you end up coming to a number and you never have to go to court. Sometimes that can happen early on, sometimes after the questioning, because the whole idea of the questioning is to make sure that the parties understand what the positions are. They're gonna ask you questions under oath and you've gotta swear, well, I did this, I did that. And then the lawyer's gonna have a better sense of who's, who's guilty, who's not guilty, what the damages are, how much money is involved and all that, and then they come to a settlement. In fact, the percentage of cases that settle before they go to court can range from, from 80 to 95%. It is a high number of cases that do not ever go to the courtroom. So again, just remember, if you get served with a statement of claim after a car accident, that you go and give it to your insurance company right away, or hire a lawyer if you don't have insurance right away to make sure that you don't get hit with anything more than you have to.